Now you need to pay attention and we will talk about the bonus plan. Let's say I have one employee, employee ID, okay. Let's say that is 579, okay. Now I have a target amount, which we also call basis, which is 10,000 for an example, okay. Now I will have individual T and business calculation. I will have the result against It will all make sense in few minutes what I'm doing. It is my target formation. Okay. It is my what you call guideline. It is my payout information. This is my, I will say, final payout. Okay. Now, the very first and the starting point is how do we want to calculate our bonus? Okay. Uh, we will have different bonus plan and one employee can be part of multiple bonus plan at the same time. What I'm trying to show you on the screen right now, how the calculation work. Okay. Now, assuming that the target of the employee is 10,000 and then that is going calculated, uh, that is going into like say different, different percentage, let's say 30 percent is individual, 20 percent is team and then 50 percentage is business. Okay. Now, what will happen? This, this became our uh, percentage and accordingly what system will do it will calculate the amount so 30 percent of my target that is going that is becoming my what you call three thousand right are we good here Raghu? yeah uh, good so far yeah now similarly target amount for business and team will get calculated so if we see 5000 2000 and 3000 i have created one bonus plan yes. but where do we uh, specify this 30 20 and 50 i'll come there okay that we specify in bonus plan. This is my bonus plan one. Okay. I'll show it into the system. Now, I have a target amount. There is one employee who is, who, who is falling based on the eligibility on that bonus plan. And accordingly, the bifurcation of the target amount into individual team and business will happen based on the country that we have done in the back end and accordingly we have this amount 3000 
two thousand and five thousand based on the percentage. Okay. Now we have the guideline. Guideline is like uh, let's say if employee is having rating three. Uh, let's say individual performance rating team performance rating and business performance okay there are three part when i talk about individual performance rating assuming the individual rating is four and team rating is five team has really done some good job and based on the guideline there is some percentage which has been given to the employee let's say the guideline is if the employee is getting rating four then give 80 percent of the uh, payout if the theme is performing five then guideline percentage for team is let's say 100 assuming this will come from the requirement of the customer and business performance it has calculation method three calculation method i'll talk about it later those three methods are uh, what we call interpolate and uh, direct and uh, what do you call uh, step step these are three method okay and let's say business performance via any of the method is let's say 125% okay now how the payout will happen let's say target was 100 assuming target was 122 let's say and the performance is 125 the payout will happen is quite simple like for individual one second Oops. skip individual payout team payout and business payout What I want to do here is let me these three will have individual budget or it will be a common budget usually team business. It will have a common budget. I, I will jump into the system once clearly once the calculation calculation part is clear, then I will show so, you the budget part also. Okay, individual payout. How this will happen? Let's say I have the individual guide uh, guideline. My individual target was uh, three thousand multiplied with eighty percent is my individual payout, which is twenty four hundred. Team payout. Team guideline is uh, achievement is hundred percent. Hundred percent of what? Hundred percent of team section, which was two thousand. So it becomes two thousand. Business payout, it becomes 125% of my business target. What was my business target? 5,000. 125% of 5,000 becomes 6,050. My final payout of the bonus would be sum of individual, team, and business payout. This is how the calculation works. Now, the interesting part is why we use bonus plan that assuming come on assuming i have a different employee employee id 2 employee ID 3 and the target amount is let's say same but for the this employee individual percentage is not applicable only team 
and business applicable that is to 50 50 can we do it yes we can do it do we need to create a different variable pay template or we can do within the same variable pay template creating a bonus plan too we can do within the same variable pay template while creating a different bonus plan similarly assuming we have a third requirement where we do not have individual we do not have team only business is applicable and the percentage of business is 100 again we can do it and rest of the thing will work as we saw already it's just different employee falls under different bonus plan and accordingly the rest of the calculation will happen above that assuming we are having another bonus plan which is this one okay bonus plan four and in this bonus plan what happens employee have two salary okay when i say two salary then assuming this is for six months okay and target amount Ten thousand got changed. Let's say employee got promoted. The target amount now became fifteen thousand. Okay, employee is only eligible for business payout. The same example. So individual and team doesn't come into the picture. It's only business payout, which is twelve thousand. It will not be twelve thousand because the proration will come into the picture. What system will do this 12,000 for six months and this 18,000 for six months and final payout would be this would be this wouldn't be the final payout system will do the all these calculation for us based on the you know uh, logic that we will write and the final payout would be this plus this now I gave you four example. Do you have any query on these example or are we on the same page? Should be no. Uh, only thing is for the targets, right? If I want to vary, for example, if I on the LOA, if they have to predefined value, if I want to store somewhere, where would it be? I didn't understand your question. Maybe you need to come again. Okay, so on the letter of appointment, if for some employees they have a predefined bonus, so how do we sync those values to templates? Predefined bonus, what do you mean by that? Okay, so for uh, employee, they might say, okay, for the this year, you're eligible for 5,000 bonus. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so that will fall in the target amount. So should that be bought from EC or? Yes, so we have both the option. Suppose you have the employee central already uh, 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 available uh, for your organization, then it must come, come from employee central. I'll show this in, in the system, but okay. you're here you're talking about the target amount. Yeah. Okay. But is the calculation clear? Yeah, all good. Okay. Let me. Keep it so that I can share this with you. And you can take the reference later. All right. Okay. Mm.